John, we kind of talked about in previous Tribo about identifying mission vision. So before applying to any job, do you think that job seekers or anyone in the world should identify their values, know who they are before going or jumping in their job search? Yeah, absolutely. Value identification is really important, but don't be confused by the values of the company and mm -hmm. you thinking that you're going to just line up with your values because the values that are showcased by the company itself is the marketing angle. Mm -hmm. It's the dogs sitting in the rooms. It's the kombucha on tap. It's the, this is going to be the best experience, right? Well, they're, they're trying to frame it within the expectations that the job seeker has mm -hmm. to have this dream experience. The problem is that your experience has literally nothing to do with any of that. Mm -hmm. Your experience has to do with two things, your manager and the manager above you. That's it. That's it. Your entire livelihood is going to be dictated by two things. Those two things. Um, because, because if there's a bunch of politics in the company, a bunch of problems, but yet you have a great manager, and the boss above them is also great, then those are your primary interactions. Okay. And, and you may have somebody on the side who you don't like, you don't have to, you know, interactions are kind of strange. You just like, you know, kind of a strange scenario. Um, uh, that's okay because your most interactions are going to come from the people who believe in you. Um, and, um, and so I, I always say focus on the values because and not even the job title or the vertical or the industry. Mm -hmm. So many people get caught up into this idea like, well, maybe I should switch industries. And it's like, you're going to deal with the exact same stuff right. in the other industry. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you're in a marketing role or a UX design role or product management. Everywhere is the same, right? Your fulfillment comes from the people who believe in you. Yeah. That's it. The people. Yeah. Um, and so, so we get so confused. And, and, and like, here's an example. Um, when I joined Amazon. Mm -hmm. Um, I was like, you know, this is going to be awesome. You know, it's going to be so much better than yeah. the company that I was working for. It's puppy dogs and rainbows. I go over there and it's the worst experience of my life. Mm -hmm. The first two years, worst experience of my life, um, from a corporate perspective, um, a lot of politics, a lot of weird things going on. Um, and I thought maybe Amazon as a whole is just like this. Is this what it's like? And so I started seeking external jobs, um, mm -hmm. And I also started seeking internal jobs. I got an offer externally, but then I got an offer internally from a different team. And I weighed those two things together. And I said, you know what? The people on this other internal team seem amazing. And that was the signal for me. Yeah. I said, I I'm, I'm going to take a leap of faith. And the energy I feel for this internal role seems better than the energy in this external role. I went and I was right. And now I'm having an incredibly good experience. The people are great. Um, and, and I still deal with politics and BS, right? Like everybody does. But two different teams, same company, has zero to do with the marketing message that's being presented. And do you think that you mentioned that at the beginning that value alignment, do you think that it, the value alignment of your personal should be 100% aligned or 80% or it all depends, especially nowadays, people just need a job to pay their bills? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think that the value alignment needs to be uh, perfect. And I don't think we should ever use the word perfect. Um, that sets us up. Once again, it's an expectation trap, right? We are seeking the perfect partner. We're seeking the perfect job. Yeah. And those things, those things never exist. Even in the entrepreneurial world, right? People in corporate look at entrepreneurship as a form of escapism and they go, if I become an entrepreneur, things will be perfect, yeah. right? Yeah. It, small nuances in the way our brains are working and processing through mm -hmm. this information trip us up. It's not perfect in entrepreneurship. In fact, entrepreneurship is 10x harder than corporate America. Corporate America is like a cakewalk compared to entrepreneurship. Um, and yet people believe that they're going to find freedom there. So be really careful. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, you know, tying back to your question, like, is value alignment really important with corporate? Sure. I'm not advocating that like we can't find a good fit, Yeah. but I'm advocating that we should be aware that our brains are tricking us into the perfect fit, which does not exist. I totally agree with you. Again, thank you for those great tips, John. And for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips, please leave comments below and tune in next time for another great question with John.